Hello everybody, welcome to the second episode of the Realm of Aston. Now in today's episode, I am going to move on from uh, this gold mine that I worked on in the last episode. It was a really fun side project, but I think it's time to, you know, start with the actual kingdom. So, instead of uh, being on this little side of the road, we are going to continue our, continue our way over to the castle. Now, if we just follow this road um, up until the castle, uh, Ijimwe and I, uh, well, mainly Ijimwe, just did this road tonight. Uh, and then we still have to do this bridge. Um, but yeah, so this is the beginning of the castle. Um, this isn't just, like, one little part of the castle. The castle's going to be really big. It's, uh, there, we've currently done only two builds. Fix is just on a tower. His episode came out later to, uh, earlier today. Um, but my part here is unfinished, and it's just a storage system. Right now, I just have this uh, just smelting netherrack, uh, just so that we can get nether brick really easily. Um, but yeah, you can see Fix's tower over there. Tonight, I also worked on the walls, so I'm starting like a nice wall design and also getting some towers up in there. But I'm not going to be building towers, I'm not going to be finishing this, I'm not going to be doing a furnace array, like I said in the last episode. Instead, I think I am going to be actually building the castle, um, or starting the castle. So this castle is going to be on all dimensions. It's going to be very vast and sprawling all over this basalt deltas, but it's also going to have a lot of elevation changes, as you can see from the road that I started. Now this road continues and winds down all the way down. It's like around a, I want to say like a 15 block um decrease from where you start up there to here which is a really nice transition from a higher elevation to a lower elevation now i'm not really going to be focusing on elevation changes today as i just want to get the the first layer of the castle done um so instead i am going to be focusing on these two little gates and gatehouses let's try and escape these guys um and i also want to build um right next to this wall that I started and I want to build up this giant tower now this is going to be I guess the main the main citadel uh, it's gonna be like the main fortress or something this place is going to be where the hoglands could like sleep so I guess you could call it the barracks but it's it's going to be very inspired from uh, the bastions that we that we've seen in the nether due to, due to the 1.16 update so yeah, I think I'm going to be st uh, going to start work on this build and uh, I'll see what I can come up with in this amount of time and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, so it has been a substantial amount of time since the last time you have seen the castle and I just wanted to point out and walk around this bridge that um just built uh, the tonight. So yeah, it was just a quick build and no one's online. It's uh, really late. It's like 4 a.m. So anyway, uh, I have done a lot of work on the castle since the last time you have saw, saw it. And honestly, I think it is probably one of my best builds currently on the server. Um, I really like this tower. Um, I'll obviously get a better look at it, but it looks really good. And I only did this in one try. Like, I, I, I haven't edited it since... This is my first, like, try of the build. Um, but yeah, so I I have done a lot of work. So the idea is um, that this place is going to be, like, the barracks or, like, the main tower for the for the kingdom or something like that. Uh, pr probably just going to be the barracks, though. Um, let me do that real quick. I'm misplacing a lot of blocks. Uh, one, two, three. And uh, currently, this is all I have. Um, but yeah, it's it's going quite nicely. Um, I still have to edit the these so that they they match this side. Um, but yeah, I I really like how you know reinforced the actual build looks. Uh, let me get a better look from over here. Um, but yeah, the like 
I I like the the red accents that I added. It just adds a lot of more color. So just adds some um, more detail, honestly. And oh, that wall design, I I don't know like how I came up with it, but it, it's pretty unique, honestly. It's a nice arching arch design. If you ever have an arch that you can do, uh, I would suggest using using this, especially if you have an even gap. This is four wide, and I made it work, and it looks really good. But yes, um, I think what I'm going to do next is copy this tower design onto all four sides, and then I'll start to work on this main tower frame, and then I will be right back with you guys, and uh, we can find something else to do for the remaining of this episode. Okay guys, I am back and I am really close to being finished with this build and I have to say this is a super super fun build. I have done one facade of the main tower and I think it looks pretty good honestly. Um, basically what it is, if you can't see because of how dark it is, um, can I get here? It's just a balcony essentially with a what do you call this red nether brick roof um it looks really good and it also has this nice uh, black concrete powder back background just to add more texture and make and this concrete powder is actually kind of light compared to all the other dark blocks and i just added some soul lanterns just to light up the area so that you could see the the concrete powder more pronounced and then i also added that like crown on top of it like similar to very similar to these just to um continue with that i also added a nice detail using black um i mean yeah black terracotta i actually did it on this build right here but um i did it on a more longer scale um and it's right above those braziers so it's nicely lit up as well so yeah, but anyway, I think what I'm going to do is um, repeat this. Whoops, repeat this design on these other three faces, and then I think what I'm going to do is work a little bit on this grand entrance, and then, um, or sorry, work a little bit on this main entrance, and then uh, I think this episode uh, could be finished up nicely. So I'll be right back. And there you have it. Um, this is the finished product after 48 hours of just pure hard work, I guess. Um, yeah, I am really happy with the way this build has turned out for today's episode. Um, especially this courtyard. This is one of my favorite builds that I've ever built on this server, and probably in Minecraft, actually. Um, just the amount of depth and detail that I added to both the citadel and the courtyard um like i may just be ego complimenting myself but um it's just kind of amazing um i really like these new blocks and they add a lot of more detail to the game and i hope that we get some more blocks like this in the future updates but besides that thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you had enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you want more content like this from the realm of Aston and from my single player world called Tailcraft. 
Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode, and goodbye.